Uh, well, guys, congratulations on the film. I just got a chance to watch it and enjoyed it a lot. Um, Mika, let's start with you and tell me a little bit about what you were trying to say about uh, sexuality, gay sexuality, um, sex work. What, what, there are a lot of different topics that are um, mm. brought up in the film. Tell me a little bit about what your vision was. Well, I really wanted to make a film that didn't problematize sex in itself, neither in its aesthetic approach or, or you know, or thematically, where, you know, sex was such an important part of the story. Um, sexuality, the power of sexuality as well, uh, the empowering potential of all sexuality and and self-discovery through through sexuality as well. Um, I think we've seen so many um uh you know some so, uh sex worker uh, films and portraits that you know some of them are you know really amazing and you know inspiring films but where sex work is still problematized uh or you know seen as a uh, as a as a, as a either a result or cause of trauma um so i really wanted to to make a film uh that looked at a character for whom sex work was you know a conscious choice rather than um rather than something done for lack of choices or or you know an economic prerogative um so so that was that was kind of one 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 side of it um but uh then i'm i was also really animated by you know the discussions that we we you know as artists have been having for you know uh the last decade really or you know and, and and longer as well about authenticity of voice and and whether we, and you know who has the right to tell whose stories and um whether we have to have lived experience about something to be able to write about it or whether we can and are allowed to just you know use our imagination and empathy to to craft a story so um yeah really it is a film film you know what's a character study is also very much a film about uh, ideas as well so uh so those were some of the kind of animating things in 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 uh writing it yeah definitely there are all these different threads going through it uh rudy why don't you talk a little bit about your character max um what is i'm interested in his trajectory and like how he what are his motivations at the start and how do they evolve maybe without giving too much away uh, yeah at the course of the film of course i think um at the start the the sex work is very much about pursuing the truth of his writing um and he he's you know he's he's writing this novel he wants to research it in the most truthful way possible and um <clears throat> So initially, it definitely starts off as pursuing it for the art and for the the creative journey. But then, as time goes on, obviously, things get muddied with personal life and what things are going through. And um, Max begins to learn that he enjoys it maybe in a way that he didn't think he knew he would, and that kind of develops over time. And um, the his personal feelings and journey comes and clashes with the literary journey and well and as well and it's this um battle between the the truth of the art and the what what you want to work on and what you want to develop and what maybe the higher people in the industry want to make and and that battle between that but then also the journey of kind of secrecy and like forcing alienation and loneliness upon yourself because you're holding a secret and I've always thought that for Max and we went, went like hold, in general holding a secret comes with loneliness right because you're you're hiding something and in therefore casting people away out of out of fear when really everyone is supportive of you yeah that sort of grapples with this idea about whether you have to have actually experienced something in order to represent it you know mm, if, if is is he really is he researching it or is he doing it for himself? Talk a little bit about this tension here about w what he's going through as an artist, but then like literally what he he's going through as, um, you know, as he goes on this journey through the film. I think that's the interesting thing is that he does do it under the alias of Sebastian when he's writing, yeah. he, even though it's something that he is living truthfully, um, it's still something that he's afraid to to own. And there is definitely a conflict there. Um, but I, I do think he 
he is someone that feels it's it's important to in order to write something completely naturally and truthfully and he's also he's like someone who would like die for his art you know and and this, I think he's really inspired by like Genet and all these kind of authors who are so like live live their experience and write their lived experience in the most like like authentic heartfelt honest way mm. and so there are a lot of scenes I mean it's obviously a, a film about sex work so there's some graphic scenes um, for both of you, let's maybe start with you, Mika. Talk a little bit about representing these scenes. I mean, was it scary? Was it a challenge? Was a, and for you, Rudy, a little bit about you know, were you scared to do some of these scenes? Mm -hmm. Where was it? You know, as an actor, what's that like to do stuff on on film that uh, you know maybe it's a little bit outside your comfort zone? Do you want to go first? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was uh, yeah. I mean, like like I said, it, it, I wanted to also you know make a film that really didn't problematize sex. And uh, so, so it was It was really part of the film's DNA from, you know, from the very beginning and from, you know, in writing it, that that it would be such an integral part. Um, so like for, from my point of view, I'd say that there was, I mean, I I had experience of of crafting sex scenes for my debut feature as well. So uh, so I wasn't, you know, so kind of scared of, 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 uh, of um, of uh kind of approaching them um also they were you know already in the script uh i'd written them out in quite a lot of detail because they do so much story and character work that we couldn't leave them to just you know they have sex uh at any at any point so um um i i wanted to really approach them kind of in the philosophy of the film uh as the, the, you know that they are they are the um kind of the evolution of max's character but they're they're also you know the, the the content for his novel so uh there was no question about whether they are necessary whether they should be necessary or uh or anything like that so really I, you know we were seeking to approach them as you know drama scenes as as any other scenes but of course then working with an intimacy coordinator and a closed set to uh to kind of build build that trusting and and comfortable environment mm. yeah for sure um i think for me at the at the start before we began shooting that i the idea of doing all of these intimate scenes and and that being out in the world was probably more intimidating than it actually was once we began shooting and um, because i hadn't had a lot of experience um filming these scenes before um but once we started doing it and really digging into the script and and figuring out it really was like a, a a study of the mind and the character and and the the relationships and what he's going through and the sex wasn't like oh my god now they're having sex it was just like everyone has sex it was just a very frank and honest depiction of that and then looking at it in a more detailed way as a character and I think when I first watched the film I was actually really comforted by how um how easy and like intellectual the the sex scenes felt they didn't feel like raunchy and crude you know yeah um Mika talk a little bit about um how you wanted to portray sex work I mean it feels like a movie that doesn't look down on this topic that you know I think maybe a lot of movies do or a lot of movies on this topic have in the past. Talk about how you wanted to present it um, in the film. Yeah, I feel like uh, even even films, you know, that that seek to provide a realistic portrait, they still often end up in some way problematizing or or sens sensationalizing the topic, and that's just something that I really wanted to move away from. And uh, really looking at it, you know, because it, it, it's. It, it is also a portrait of of someone, you know, uh, a a young uh, young young queer guy living in London and and as part of London's gig economy as well. Uh, so I really wanted to to you know as as is said in the film as well. I wanted to take that approach of you know almost looking at sex work as just another option in the in the gig economy. And uh, you know he's a 
he's a journalist by day and 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 then and then choosing to do this and uh uh it was just very much about getting away from sensationalism that's not to say that we that the that uh you know everything should be depicted in a certainly didn't want to you know glamorize anything either uh or you know or gloss over you know any dangers and risks involved but just trying to to give a very kind of full rounded portrait in that sense talk a little bit about max's uh um evolution and you know without giving too much away he you know learns to respect you know some of his clients and sort of understand wanting to to uh kind of learn from a different generation and so he he's actually getting something out of this transaction that's more than financial yeah of course um and i think he's always he'd always gotten something artistic out of it but maybe in it i don't think he realized that the the interactions with these clients these moments he's sharing could actually be something much more deep and much more heartfelt and much more important than just the sex and that companionship and love almost is something that can actually be formed and that it can bring it could bring people together in a way that maybe Max hadn't realized or even thought about before and I think that that's a really beautiful journey that the character goes on is learning and discovering that um sex work in these meetings with clients is more than just like sex and pleasure um but also knowing that that is still a part of it and that it it, it varies from client to client and that there is joy in both aspects of it yeah uh, so uh, finally oh, sorry go ahead I wanted to add that it was also, you know, in in that portrait of sex work, to also it was important to also give a respect, you know, a respectful uh, representation, you know, portrait of the clients as well. In in that sense, that we, it's not just about kind of humanizing this, you know, the sex worker, but also humanizing the clients for their needs and 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 you know for their very real needs as well. Uh, so that was also an important part of it. Mm. That's amazing. Well, guys, congratulations on the film. Um, we really uh, enjoyed it a lot. Thank, Thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.